Mm. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and it's been a hot minute. You know, work's been a little bananas, but here we are. Uh, I see there are a lot of you who are new here, so thank you for joining us. Welcome. Hope you stick around. And today we're going to be doing a little collab with a bunch of other wonderful Lolita YouTubers called More Than a Dress Q&A. So this is going to be a little Q&A where I answer some questions that the uh, Lolita YouTubers Facebook group came up with and we're just gonna have a little chat and hope you guys can learn more about me. Uh, the playlist for all the other videos will be going up on May 29th, so keep an eye out for that. And that being said, let's get started. By the way, I wanted to say happy Mass Effect Legendary Edition release day. Um, I'm not filming this on release day, I'm filming it afterwards, but I may or may not have been playing Legendary Edition all weekend, so bit of a delay. I have on my N7 skirt that Sweet Mildred made for me with the matching head bow. I also have the matching N7 socks. So my favorite brand is Ha Nuli, and if you watched my wardrobe video, you would see that I am very happy and proud of my Ha Nuli collection because I worked very hard and long hours to be able to afford all of those dresses during the 2019 pre-order, and I'm very happy to have all of them, and I want more, but finding plus-size friendly Ha Nuli secondhand is a bit of a challenge, especially when everybody else is after it. I guess my biggest fear would be loneliness because as an extrovert I would go a little crazy. I'm like an introverted extrovert like I love talking to people but I also enjoy my time to recharge but if I was just permanently never allowed to talk any to anyone I would go a little crazy because I have been going crazy during you know Miss Rona. So it should come as no surprise that my least favorite brand is Angelic Pretty because I have long ago hopped off the Angelic Pretty bandwagon. I've stopped buying them secondhand. I've stopped buying from them brand new. Like, I just think Angelic Pretty has made it pretty apparent that I am not the person they want to wear their clothing. So that's okay. I'll just go buy from Meta. Ooh, if I could get paid to do anything. I just love to create and be creative. So I'm a photography major. I majored in studio arts with a concentration of photography and I did have freelancing um, aspirations, but those of course have been, on, been put on hold indefinitely until this whole, as Ellie Vira says, panorama is over. So, um, yeah, if I could get paid to do photography, like get paid decent money, that would be great. So the most difficult accessories for me to acquire were the matching accessories for Meta's Grimoire dress. I think it's Grimoire, I don't even, I can't even remember the name, but I'll, I'll put it up here, the full thing. But Meta's Grimoire series, these were hard to get a hold of. For the hair clip, I had to buy this in a set, and then I sold the dress, and then I just kept the hair clip. And for this, I had to, someone was selling a set, and they were very kind enough to sell me this headdress. I really wanted the bonnet, but you know, this was also a good option, so these were very difficult to find. So glad I have them. I love a good steak. I could eat steak almost every day. Like, obviously that wouldn't be healthy, but if I could only eat steak for the rest of my life, I would be very happy. 
So I actually just posted this on my Instagram, but Innocent World just recently announced their new, uh, new OP cut and has like this gorgeous ruffly Peter Pan collar with like these mid uh, length sleeves and like a really full A-line skirt. Ugh, if that came in plus sizes, I would, I would probably cry because having an OP that fits me would probably make me cry. But if someone could please make one of those in plus sizes, I will give you money. We'll go with Lolita specifically. I was in Ikea shopping with my mom and there was this little girl across the aisle from us who's like, mommy, look, it's a princess. And then her mom's like, oh yeah, it is. And then this little girl's like, do you think she got her dress here? <laughs> and her mom's like, no, I don't think so. And it was just the cutest little thing ever. I do have some pet peeves, but they specifically apply to me and my personal tastes, like high-waisted cuts. I absolutely despise high-waisted cuts, especially when there isn't enough fabric in the bodice to cover the girls and everything just ends up sitting on my bust. It's really annoying. Like it's a cute look, but I hate it on myself. I hate when things sit on my bust. Other things I hate, I hate tight blouses. Like now I've just gotten to the point where I mostly get everything custom sized. So I have room to spare, all right? I like room. So it's not really a book per se, but more like a manga series. If you ever get the chance to, or you want to, Rosario plus Vampire is such a good manga series. Don't watch the anime, the anime is hot garbage, but the manga series is so good, the art is beautiful, and the story goes way more in depth than the anime ever will or could. There are two seasons to it. There's Rosario plus Vampire, and then there's Rosario plus Vampire season two. Read both of them. I think season one's only 10 volumes. I forget how long season two is, but another one of my favorites is the Shiki manga. I love Shiki so much. The anime and the manga are equally as good in my eyes. So go give those a read, go give it a watch. It's pretty short, it's only two seasons. So my favorite Lolita substyle is Sweet Classic. I love Sweet Classic. It's kind of describes my whole style because I love being like cute and loud, but I'm not OTT sweet. So like I enjoy being sweet, but in like a more classic manner. And I love old school. I am happy that old school is making a resurgence. I need to get more old school pieces. I would love to have a Mabari from Dragon Age. You get a Mabari in Dragon Age Origins and he's such a, he's the, just the best boy. Like he's just a big attack dog and I just want to pet him. So I'm not the biggest plushy collector, but I do have a few because sometimes I can't help myself. This little grunt plushie from Sanshi.com, I will link him down below. Uh, for the Mass Effect fans, the joke in the fandom is pretty much that grunt is Commander Shepard's Krogan son. He's just a baby Krogan essentially, but he's like your big baby Krogan. And he's just so cute and I love him. But yes, look at little grunt our little baby Krogan son. <laughs> and of course, I have to shout out my fiance for getting me this for my birthday. This is from the Pusheen Gamer Collection. They had a mouse pad and I was so sad it sold out before I could get it. I haven't even removed the tags, but it's just Pusheen holding a little console. It looks like a switch and it's just so cute. And she's really soft too. And I was also lying when I said I don't like character or mascots. So if you watched my Lolita fashion evolution video, 
I think I phased out of my Eta phase probably in about 2018 because I started in 2014 and I would say 2017 my cords were still a little rough. Even though three years into the fashion, we were, we were still on the struggle bus. But I think by 2018 I figured my stuff out. That'd probably be my Honey Cake JSK. That was probably the most expensive Lolita order I've ever placed because I bought the dress, the head bow, and the bag. So that was really expensive. And then my least expensive was my CC Cat Gamer Girl JSK. I think in total for the set, it was like 60 bucks. It was really cheap. And the quality kind of reflects that. Uh, so it would probably come as no surprise that since I majored in art, my favorite subject in school was art. Well, I was never bad at academics, but I didn't particularly enjoy them. Um, and like I said earlier, I went to school for a studio arts degree and I concentrated in photography specifically. So Lolita doesn't really trickle into any other parts of my life. A little spoiler, I make hair clips. I may or may not have a little announcement coming up but I need to finish making samples, so stay tuned. But as far as like my room decor, not really. I've, I have a lot of video game art that I've collected from conventions, and so does my fiance, so our whole apartment is mostly like video game themed. Behind the camera, there's a giant Devil May Cry 3 poster. <laughs> it's mostly video games are my true love. I was a nerd long before I was a Lolita, Uh, I'll be honest, no. I don't really see myself wearing this for my entire lifetime, but for a while, I do imagine myself enjoying this fashion for a very long time. Because this fashion is just so much more than clothing. Like, yes, clothing is the basis, but I also have friends that I've made. I go to events based around this fashion. I'm making accessories <laughs> based on this fashion. So right now it's a huge part of my life, but we'll see if it stays like that forever. So that is all of the questions I had. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions for me that you would like to answer, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the playlist. Again, that will be posted on May 29th, and I will see you guys next time.